Welcome to UK Bully TV. This is the first interview with the owner of Grand Champion Dogzilla, Aaron Lee from Britannia Bullies. Well, Aaron, when did it all start with the American Bully? Probably about the end of 2014. Uh, what made you want one? Well, basically, I've been, I've been into dogs all my life. Yeah. And, and, and mainly bull breeds, um, and, and I used to do the training. Do you know the scenarios of the uh, personal protection training yeah. dogs and all that? Look, and um, a friend of mine from Rare Breed Kennels, Jason, he's got uh, well, he had uh, a, a blue tri boy Mario, uh, and, and I'd never seen one of these dogs before. The only time I'd seen the dogs was in like like a music video or something. Yeah. So I mean, I've never seen one. I didn't think they had them in the UK. Um, and then from there, I went to uh, a dog show with Jason. I think it was somewhere in Manchester, a bull breed dog show. And that's yeah. where I obviously see the first time I met yourself was there yeah. with uh, Dios. Yeah. Uh, when he was just about, must have been about that. About bit. six months old then. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, and that's when I seen it. I think William Brown was there with, with Bubble Ed, that's the bit, which is actually Zilla's dad. Yeah. And, and I think Miss Jackson. So uh, they, they, were the, they were the four. First, first four American boys I've seen. So, so from then, I, I actually getting my hands on seeing them, I thought I need one of these dogs. So, um, towards the beginning of 2015 as well. Uh, Zilla wasn't me, he wasn't my first dog. He wasn't my first bully. I had two bitches before that. Um, and what what drove you to, you know, start showing them? Did you intend to show them all? No, I, I never had no intention of showing. I just, uh, it was just me pet, and, and, and I just, I buzzed off them. I developed a passion for them. Like, once I got the one, I got another one, and another one. And a bit like me, then you get yeah, 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 yeah. So, so, what I got into the show because I, I, obviously we're all on social media, we're all on Facebook, and this, well, most of us. And, and I was seeing the show was being promoted. Uh, the, the first ABKC UK show, so I yeah. thought, right, I'll go along, I'll put some faces to the dogs. I started yeah. knowing the dogs and not the people, so I thought, I'll go along uh, and get involved in that kind of stuff. So when, when you started getting into the show scene and you started, obviously you started winning shows, yeah. there weren't that many American bullies here, were they at the time? No, nah, nah, there's not, not not many at all. Some of the classes were quite small. Um, so the UK was my first one, pretty much pretty much cleaned up there for uh, for, for his first show I cleaned up three different three different classes in both shows which put me well on the way for grand uh, for champion. champion so they were like international judges from other countries so for them to pick my dog and I know nothing about the breed at this point yeah. so I'm thinking that might be onto some here, do you know what I mean? And that's Did it all I'm seem real then when you nah, started winning? Not really, not at all. Because I was at in the ring, boom, there's your rosette. I was out, Aaron, wait there, back in, back yeah. out, do you know what I mean? Yeah, so there weren't that many dogs here, you see? No, well, actually, when I did, the second show I got was when I, I got the best in show in Ireland, 2015. That's when I champed up. Right. So, um, there were some big classes there, the, the classes were average size, not as big as what they are now. But, but then, um, it all seemed like it happened too fast, so then I started doubting me dog a little bit. So yeah. I thought that I'd travel, and when I travelled, I got I put up against some dogs from different countries, like America and all over yeah. Europe, and, and started placing. So that's when I got it into my head after I've made a champ. I thought, why should I stop? Why should I Carry stop? On there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What um, what other hobbies do you have apart from obviously Not every many. day, <laughs> day in day out cleaning dogs? Not many really. About well, most mostly just. Fitness gym, uh, keeping myself in shape, which actually ties in with the dogs, because when the dogs train, I, I train myself. But other than that, just just bits of gym yeah. and, and stuff. Just what what does he wear? Is it like, what, uh, what's his item weight? He's about 16 and a half inches to the shoulder, um, and and he's about 34 kg, which is an average. Average. It's a, it's a good weight. It's a good yeah. weight, and, he, and he's pretty fit for that weight. Yeah. I see. I see on. I see on computer like you're out running with him and that. Yeah. No. Chasing bike. I'm not really built for running, but I do a little bit of <laughs> <laughs> I'm fast walk or a jog. But I get the bike out. Uh, and we, we do some miles. We do. We do quite a bit together. Like yeah. yeah. So now, so now you've you've become grand champion with him. Yeah. Obviously, there's not much more you can go for now. Yeah. As, as in like a showing, showing kind of thing. Yeah. Well, it? well, it, it, that's an ABKC's pretty much uh, maxed out. Um, 
the only other thing for that uh, for, with ABKC is just traveling and, and just trying to get them back to the shows. But yeah. but obviously I've got other dogs to work with also. Uh, but I've also made him uh, the EBKC he, uh, recently two weeks ago. Made him a champion with that. Um, I champed him up in the sh in the first show. I champed him up. Not at the first EBKC show, but when I when I did go for the show that I knew he was champ, I yep. could have champed up in. Um, I won the point to champ him up, and then the show two showed him the champ class, and he actually won that. So so now uh, I need four more champion wins to, yeah. to get the grand champ there. So that's my next target with that. And then if there's any other registries, I will probably try to dominate them as well. Yeah. <laughs> try to take over. Yeah, I'll try. So so having. Obviously, myself being one of the first people in the UK with the dogs, yeah. um, myself and William Byrne. Yeah. What What would you say to people? Like I've noticed now in the last couple of years, the breed just growing and growing and yeah, getting stronger. Massively, massively. What What could you advise to people who's get, who's getting into the dogs and wanting to start showing the dogs under ABKC, right. EBKC? First of all, I just wouldn't rush into buying one off yeah. the first person you see with the dog because. Yeah. Uh, it depends if they want the show dog and they want good on the show land. For me, there's two different kinds of the bullies. There's, there's a show dog and there's a show off dog. Both have an important role to play in the thing. So choose choose where you get your dog from but wisely. And, and for the show side, really, is just learning how to stack the dog and, and um, focusing on that training and just do bits. Like I, I, when I did Zilla, I, I take him for a walk Every few meters, I'd stop him, stack him, yeah. and then I'd gate him a little bit, find his pace, just little and often. If he, if he, I was just doing little bits like once or twice a week. Now I don't have to do nothing because I've done so much in, yeah. in the beginning. So really, little and often, keep the dog interested. Just but do bits. Some people turn up at shows and think they can just wing it and, yeah. and, and get surprised when they don't win when they've got a decent dog. It's the handling, the, the handling that lets a good dog down. So yeah. just, just. Um, just and be consistent with, with the training. So as as from like a new person getting into the breed, what would you tell them to look out for in a pup if they wanted uh, to go down the show route or you know and not the show off kind of dog, yeah, but yeah. obviously the Basically, show dog. What what I do is obviously people bang on about bloodline, bloodline, this bloodline that obviously that has a massive impact in a dog, but I, I just look at the two dogs involved in the actual breeding. Obviously the dogs further back will have an impact, but not as much as the yeah, as the direct, the, the two direct dogs are being bred. Yeah, so check them out first, and then I, I, I'll open. If they're buying a dog from overseas, then I, I always say to people, get a video. Don't go off pictures. Yeah. Get a video of them. Stack the dog up. Look if they've got straight legs, tight feet, nice yeah. angles, straight top line, the tail down, and then most of them put, open their mouth and, and check their mouth. Yeah. Um, so, so like from from like now, where can you see yourself going, Mozilla? Just, just what we've touched on before, really. I want, I want to, um, I want a grand champion up in the EBKC now. And, and on, a on, on, on a breeding, on a breeding term, uh, what, you know, I'll, I'll what's your aims of him? I put him to a few, a few bitches at the moment, but I want to tighten up his thing now because I, I don't think he's produced as well as what he can do. I've seen some nice, yeah. really nice pups as of late, so I, I probably. I'll probably just put him to my own stuff now. I've got some yeah, nice. Keep, keep got, him in house. Yeah, I've got some nice bitches in house now, and, and a few coming back. So I'm gonna. I'll probably tighten up the stuff now and um, oh. work towards going down me down the route of doing my own bloodline, which I know doesn't happen overnight. But yep. that's all happens in house. Kind well, of. I, I've been into him. What Dios is nearly four years now. Yeah. I'm only on my first my first start of my second generation yeah, yeah. dogs. So yeah, it takes. People think it happens overnight. Yeah, and that's far you know? from it. Yeah. So, how do you think the bully scene's grown from from like the times when myself were at the, the Manchester show, yeah. and like yourself turning up there without a dog I, to how it is now? Yeah, I think it's I think it's grown massively. I think I think like, like I said when I got my first one, I needed another and another. I think I yeah. think the dog itself is an, the breed itself is addictive. Like and yeah. and um, and a lot more people like when I said when I seen him and I thought you couldn't get him over here. People yeah. now still think that. So when they see one and they've now they see more of them. Yeah, they, they know they're, they're accessible. I think. I think I think there's nowhere it's had to take off nowhere near as what it will do uh, in, in the next couple of years. I think yeah. I think so it, when people it's say re really well to be honest. So when, so when people say American bully, what dog springs to mind to you? When you obviously know? obviously at the moment my own uh, because of what we've been through, the journey that we've been on, uh, the miles that we've travelled, the shows, that, and, and and not only that, it, it, it is the perfect quality, but but. Um, 
I like the shorter, stockier ones for me. So when I name a, a, a few more dogs now, like yeah. that doesn't mean that I don't like different taller dogs. Like I, I, I like um, similar stamp to uh, the Grand Champion, the Boss from the Bully Market. Yeah. Short, stocky, uh, Maestro. Ty, Ty Lum is Maestro. Um, Black Labels Champion, Little V, Little V. Yeah. The shorter stock your bully a dog Compact. that, that they are what spring to mind straight away yeah. well that's not saying i'm not dissing no other dogs i just that uh, that's just my preference yeah um, so have you got any hidden gems then like next to uk hitters i've got a few out? i've got a few yeah I've, I've let a few out i trickled a few out but there's a, yeah there, there's one or two that have not that have not shown yet but yeah so like there's, there's a big eye on color yeah yeah does colour matter to you in not, the American not, colour? Not for me, no. I know it does with some people and I think it's just maybe mainly for price or whatever, but not for me. I just like the I just like the short muzzle, the blocky head, a nice fat neck, straight legs, yeah. decent top line, and I like a nice round. So it won't matter if it were brindle or black. It could be brindle, I don't I don't mind, yeah. honestly. Yeah, that's I honestly it. don't mind. It's it's just the structure. So as Britannia Bullies is getting bigger, every time I get on computer, there's always you're getting other lads involved. How many? Not not a, an exact amount, but how many dogs it, have you got in the camp? Well, we've got now. We, we expanded quite a lot, to be honest. Um, we've got we've got we've got for another. I've got another four kennel partners involved, yeah. uh, and between us all, we've got the we've got uh, American Bullies. We've got British, we've got the British Bulldogs, uh, yeah. with the coloured British Bulldogs, uh, and we've got a couple of Frenchies between us. We, we, we've got we touching about twenty odd dogs. Yeah. Um, so what, where, what's your plans for? End? Like we're coming to back end of the year now. So what shows are you going to be at in this year? So we've got the next, the next one for me now will be the RBKC. Yeah. Uh, over in Ireland, um, and then from there we've got we've got ABKC Paris the very next day. So. Uh, we're gonna drive. There's a couple of us. Some driving. <laughs> we're gonna drive straight from there to Paris, and then and then um, I think I've got a bit of a break then until December. There's an ABKC in Spain. Not too sure. I think there's a. There might be an EBKC in Belgium actually before that. But I'll probably finish the year in Spain. Uh, yeah. I think it's on the 9th of December. Right. Another topic now. I get quite a lot of messages, yeah, every day asking about exotics. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the, the bully world is growing in England. Yeah. People wanting these short, compact yeah, dogs. Yeah, yeah. What's your personal opinion on them? For me, they're not, they're not for me at all. Like, yeah. like, don't get me wrong. I've seen, I've seen, a, I've seen a one or two that that, that they look nice. Yeah. Uh, but I've seen more that are not. Um, for me, I like a dog that I can do stuff with. I like a dog I can at least walk around the block or. Or, or run it, or run it a little bit. Yeah, it's a, it's a no for me, really. But it's yeah. it's to their own. Some people don't like bulldogs. Some people don't like bullies. Yeah. I, I just don't like exotics. To be honest. That, that's yeah. Personally, I don't mind them. Yeah, yeah. But that that's just going from my preference. But if, if we all had the same stuff, exactly, it, exactly. it wouldn't be fun. You know what I mean? Nothing on if we don't. Yeah. I'm done. Mate. Cheesy smile done. So if people want to find you on social media, what's the best ways to get at you? Uh, mainly uh, Facebook, and, that, and that's Aaron Lee. Uh, we, we, we've got a, 
an Instagram page as well, and that's King underscore K9 Dog Sucks. Right, and uh, I've seen King K9 going global. It's all Holland. You know, it's getting out there now in Europe. Can yeah. you explain what it what it does, what it yeah, is? Basically, we've got a range of supplements from from puppy supplements to to adult dogs, and it's for the general health uh, and well-being of everything from from a working dog just to a health household pet. Right. So it, it, it doesn't make your dog look like it's on steroids no, like people no. think it does? No, like take, take for instance like the muscle performance, it says muscle performance so that's obviously that's what people think, people are thinking muscle this, muscle that, yeah. but, but the, there's multiple benefits to it, uh, speeds up the metabolism, boosts the immune system, uh, tightens up tendons and ligaments, got glucosamine and stuff. Um, strengthens the skin in the coat obviously it builds muscle it's muscle performance right. you get out what you put in it's not it's not a medical grow you can't give it to your dog or your dog's gonna go boom the, 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 the training the conditioning they do with the dog the more you do the more results you get but, right. but it's not just muscle it's, yeah it's so it's an all-round supplement yeah, yeah, that yeah. keeps your dog healthy yeah 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 right well it's been good having you on uh, uk bully tv for the first interview yeah. and uh, i'll be seeing you at all the shows yeah. end it yeah sweet cheers thank you